name is Gary Sear, and I'm in the Flowtech Demo Lab. And today, I'd like to show you how to connect with Bluetooth to your smart device on the ACH580 variable frequency drive. Now I'd like to show you how to use a smartphone or tablet to connect to the drive through Bluetooth. Go to the App Store and download an app called DriveTune. That's one word. Once you've uploaded that app, go ahead and select it. Then press Pair to Drive. It gives you instructions on how to connect to the drive up here. The first thing is to press and hold the question mark button for two seconds. Now it gives you a PIN number to enter into the appropriate section when you press this here. But first, in options, let's press your options, you can make this discoverable all the time. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to go back. So if you remember this number or write it down, you'll use this number each time you want to enter this particular drive. So down here you'll see that it is discovered. We'll press on EF2 and then enter the Bluetooth pairing number here. and press pair. You'll notice the blue light is flashing. It's connecting to the phone. Once connected, the smart device takes the place of the drive's keypad. And you're, you'll be able to start and stop the drive through utilizing hand, off, and auto. Now let's take a look at some of the features that are on the smart device to help work with the drive. We have dashboard, system info, full parameters list, backup and restore, manuals, diagnostics, energy efficiency, inputs and outputs, primary settings, first startup, and mobile connect. I'm going to put the, the drive in hand so we can take a look at the dashboard. I'm going to select dashboard. And then I'm going to select hand. The drive has started. It has gone to 12 hertz, which is the minimum frequency that's set for this drive. That's the motor current that it's running at this point. This is the analog input voltage that is being supplied to this drive. We are not utilizing that right now because we are in hand. There's some other information that is also obtained from the device. Now I can shut the device off or I can put it in auto. If I put it in auto it'll shut off because there is no start signal. So utilizing your smart device in Bluetooth allows you to access the drive when it might not be readily accessible. The measured capability of the Bluetooth function of the drive is up to 250 feet in free air with no obstructions. Once you're ready to disconnect 
exit the feature that you are in by pressing on back. In the upper right hand corner there's an icon. Press that. It'll ask you confirm disconnection. It will confirm connection is lost. And then hit your home button. And you're back to normal. Then that concludes the ABB ACH 580 Bluetooth connectivity training.